Okay, we're going to take a look at Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi, and we're going to be looking at the acoustic version of this track. Uh, various different versions of this track, um, but we've taken this from the 1989 MTV Music Awards. Uh, this track will stand up great on uh, acoustic, as obviously, as well as electric. We all know it as an electric track, but it'll make for a great track for you to just play and, uh, and sing along with. What I'm going to do is play through the first section of the track for you, and then we'll break it down, take a look. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, hopefully you should recognise uh, the chord progression from the original recording. We're basically playing an E minor seventh way up here at the seventh fret, bar right across the seventh fret from the A string, and uh, hold the eighth fret of the B string and the ninth fret of the D string. And we simply take our second and third fingers away so that we're just barring straight across at the uh, seventh fret there. So basically you're playing a D chord, a D triad, but you're putting a, an E note in the bass. Now this chord will actually function in two different ways, um, either as an 11th chord or a, as a minor 11th chord, uh, because it has no third in it. So we're, we're basically relating it to the tonality of the previous chord. You can hear when I play this E minor 7th, it's got the minor 3rd, uh, the G note there on the B string. So. That's why we can still use this chord, you know, either as a as a as a minor chord or as a dominant chord. So um, go from the E minor seventh, minor eleven, or a, a, a D over E. We then drop down and play a C major seventh, and uh, this is quite an unusual chord shape we're playing here. Second fret of the D string, third fret of the bottom E and then third fret of the A string. So we've actually got a C note in the bass, but we've got an open G, B and top E. We then play a D sus2 chord. But bring your thumb over the top to bring the third into the bass. So it actually changes the chord now into a, a D major 9. Or should I say a, a D add 9. So from... After this, we play uh, an open E, and then this little picking figure. And uh, for this figure, I, I feel the easiest way for you to play this is to use a mixture of um, pick and fingers, so hybrid picking. Um, on the original, Richie Sambora played it with uh, all alternate picks, which to me looks a little, uh, a little tricky to do. The figure is this, we play the D, uh, D string at the fifth fret. Once we pick it, we then play the open B, then the open G, then drop down to the fourth fret of the D. Same little open figure. Second fret, open D. And then we play the second fret of the A string, open A, third fret E, second fret E, and then back into the rhythm figure. So slowly. The little, uh, the little fill between the sections. There's various other fills like these little E minor pentatonic. Little fills that he puts in at various points. All of those are just based around the open position of the E minor pentatonic scale, which is going to be open E, third fret, open A, second fret, open D, second, open G, second fret, open B, third fret, and open top E to third fret.
So any of any of those little fills will work quite nicely. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, next section. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, that section, uh, basically the little pre-chorus, start off with the C major 7th with the G in the bass, then play our D add 9, if you remember that was like the sus 2, but with the 3rd in the bass, then to a regular E minor chord, back again, C major 7th, D, the C and then we simply hold the D chord okay let's take a look at the chorus progression here we go one two three four Okay, for that section, we're just using E minor, then a C add nine chord, which is the second fret of the D, third fret A, and third fret B. To a D, we can play various uh, extensions of that chord, sus two, sus four, and you can also bring your thumb over to fret the F sharp on the bottom E string at the second fret. Then we go to a G, for that G chord, playing the 2nd fret A, 3rd fret bottom and top E, and 3rd fret of the B string. Then C add 9, D, E minor, C, D, G, C, D. Very, very straightforward progression. Right, what I'm going to do now is uh, put these sections together for you so you can just hear everything working. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, that should give you enough information to get through the track. Uh, bearing in mind, we got a you know another verse and a chorus. Um, obviously, if you were going to you know jam along with another guitar player, you could maybe you know noodle around with some solo ideas. Um, on the version that we worked from, it was more of a medley between uh, "Living on a Prayer" into um, "Wanted Dead or Alive," so they didn't really uh, do the solo from. Uh, living on a prayer but they went into the solo from dead or alive so there's there's plenty of scope for you there to you know experiment with some lead ideas keep it around the e minor pentatonic or the uh, g major scale the e natural minor scale um, and that concludes living on a prayer